I think it's safe to say that this line, re-releases of toys with decos modelled after the Transformers Marvel comics, is exactly what I'm into. I adore the Marvel comic and all its incarnations, and seeing these absolutely exquisite boxes really got my heart racing, which I'm sure has nothing to do with my diet. So we have Grimlock and Shockwave, their boxes each adorned with the most iconic covers from early in their series. There's some nice comic panels on the back, I really especially like Grimlock's box where it's just the Dinobots eating absolute shit from Shockwave. In fact, let's have a look at Shockwave first. Each box opens up with these Velcro tabs and we can see the lad inside, it's so classy. And on the inner cover we get some comic art and a little blurb about Shockwave in different languages, which is nice. We get a good few accessories with each of the toys. In fact, I wasn't that bothered about the idea of getting another Shockwave toy until I saw both the colour and the finish here but also the accessories. I had to especially get this little platform with the Herb Trimpey style head for Optimus Prime. Absolute sucker, I know, but it's always good to be fully honest about what you are. The Prime head is wonderfully sculpted though, with all that sullen stoicness that we've come to expect from the big lug. Shockwave himself is truly a wonderful sight to behold though. That lilac, those cell shaded style reflections, the ink lines, I know they won't be to everyone's taste, but I love them. I think there's a lot of personality here, which is odd since it's Shockwave, but there's so much to love, just great detail, that wonderful hose, he's poseable as the Dickens, even if that backpack tries to ensure that he isn't, it's a great Shockwave. Transformation's fairly simple, we're just folding away the head, raising the arms, clasping the backpack over that, collapsing the legs, and you're left with, with this uh, spaceship, maybe? Like what it lacks in clarity of purpose it makes up for in style. I love that little bridge with a single eye, and fair's fair, you can turn it around and pretend it's a gun, so everyone's a winner. This is really a great representation of the character I remember from the comics in my childhood, and since this is my first experience with this mould, I don't feel like too much of an idiot for buying a toy that's been available forever. But that ends now, because we're going to start looking at Grimlock. Oh, look at that, the boxes put together make a little picture, that is adorable. The Grimlock box is definitely deeper, but the same height, so you'll see when you open it, the boy takes up a good chunk of that real estate. Loads of accessories to look over too. Well, I, I say that, but it comes down to Grimlock really coming with three red swords, a crown, and his gun. If I didn't like this particular release so much, I might feel a little bit stiffed that I had to pick this up just to arm the rest of my Studio Series Dinobots properly. But this is the third version of the mould I've picked up, with the original Studio Series and G2 versions frankly looking like microwaved glasses of apple juice compared to this new kid. This Grimlock's going to be staying on display for a long time to come, just gorgeous and the definitive Grimlock colour scheme for me. And the crown adds so much to the overall look, that red sword it's perfect, the silver gun is so imposing, it's good for him. You know, like it's time you started enjoying other people's success, so come on, give it up one time. Transformation is as grimlocky as it gets. It's fun, it's intuitive, kinda been done a million times before, but it ends up with this absolute belter of a T-Rex mode, made all the more impressive and beautiful with that colour scheme and those applications of pink and print motifs. It's nicely weighted, there's a lot of detail going on, and you can even put the gun on his back if you're a maniac. With both of these releases, it's probably time to once again tell myself the lie that these are the only incarnations of these characters I'm ever going to need. You know, we'll see. But, but it feels true this time. Oh, and just to make sure there are no loose ends, I know a lot of you will be wondering if the prime head can fit onto Metal Hawk, and yes he does. 